Now that's out the way. So we have one more Kizuna event to take care of. I did. I looked at the the different rewards you can get um, for maxing out basically some of these characters Kizuna events. So I'm gonna kind of go through talking about the two or the, the basically the three I'm deciding in between. Well, really two because I, I want the notebook entries. So Ash and Crow are the two I'm kind of deciding between right now. So Crow. Uh, I think that's who it is, Ash and Crow, right? Uh, yeah, it's Ash and Crow. So Crow's accessory gives 20 speed, 5 move, 5% uh, crit, and 100% break damage. Very good. However, I kind of want Kurtz more. Uh, so Kurtz offers an accessory that gives 20% chance to dodge. Uh, plus 5 to uh, knock back in the timeline and 50% break damage. And I kind of want that for the dodge. Basically, a 20% dodge accessory is going to go a long way towards um, allowing me to make other characters more easily become uh, dodge tanks in New Game Plus. So, we're going to go with Kurt. And if we somehow, or I guess we can't get Kurt. Why am I looking at Kurt's? God damn it. I just now realized I'm looking at the, the wrong character for who I have for this event. It's Crow and Ash. Why was I looking at... Oh my god. I was looking at the wrong thing. Ash. 15% chance to crit. Mm. Well, if that's the case, I actually like Crow's better. I think. No, but the crit's good too, because crit goes real. We're gonna go with Ash. We're gonna go with Ash and we're gonna leave it at that. We see Ash's event. Uh, once we see Ash's event, we're gonna move on with the main story. We go to Crossbell again. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff to do in Crossbell things to buy, people to talk to, cards to see. There's a new quest there. So we'll be doing all of that. And then after that, I think we go on to the next, uh, the next rivalry battle. Uh oh. Ash, where are you? You are in floor two. So next rivalry battle will be another dungeon, most likely with two bosses or two to three bosses. It's been like any of the other ones up until now. It sucks that we only have so many little heart events that we can do. We can't do all of them. So, because we miss out on notebook entries because of that. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking his accessory with the 15% chance to crit will allow us to probably get up to like 20 or 30% chance to crit relatively easily on a new game plus. That'll go good with uh, Gungniru. Oh, those assholes.
What's going on, Lightning? I mean, I was just sitting around doing nothing, so I decided, you know, may as well just start the stream up and get started early. So I did. Had a little bit of a hiccup at the beginning, though, because I had to update my PS4, and that didn't really sit well with my capture software. But all is good now. Yeah, I mean, basically, I, I updated my software, and then for whatever reason, the or updated the PS4, and then for whatever reason, the capture card, or I don't know if it was the capture card, or if it was uh, OBS, uh, something wasn't uh, picking up the, the was get, didn't really like that, and it wasn't picking up the picture. I don't know, it may, maybe it was picking up the sound too, but I'm, I wasn't seeing anything. So I just turned the stream off, reset my capture software, and it came up just fine. Now we're just finishing up the last of the Kizna events that I didn't get done last night. Um, I don't know who I'm gonna... I haven't decided who his, his final partner is gonna be. I am gonna see every event. So, like, I'll make a save before I start... Before I make the decision and just see... As, assuming that we get to see the event right away, that is. Or if it's, like, relatively close to it to where we can, like, skip everything to see it. I'll see every event. Um, but as far as who I'm gonna make the final decision for... I don't know. I haven't decided that yet. I do still want to kind of see how some of the characters change and evolve. Um, if I were to make the decision now, it would probably be between Muse and Sarah. Uh, if I were being honest, but I, again, I want to see how some of the stuff, how the rest of the game turns out first. Uh, I know there's a whole section where we get a bunch of like ending events uh, in the intermission chapter, and I want to see how all that plays out first. From what I can tell, there's no, like, special accessory or anything for choosing a specific girl. I mean, maybe there is, and it's just not listed in the wiki. Uh, but so far, the wiki has every character that you can get uh, affection with, including the guys. So just, you know, the, just the general, like, raising their link level up. 
to max. Um, so in terms of getting those accessories, I'm not as worried about uh, like choosing one person or something. It, it doesn't seem like it's like the second game where you can only get one of them at one of one accessory per run. I'm just more referring to like in the second game, if you did all this stuff right, you would get a a, a scene in the onsen, right? And you would get it with like Claire, I believe Claire, Sarah, Sharon. Or no, it was Claire, Sarah. No, it was Claire, Sharon, uh, Toa, and Toval were the four people you could have an event with, and that would get you an accessory with them. And I remember uh, Toval's being the most overpowered of the accessories. So even though he wouldn't normally wouldn't be the person I would pick, I chose Toval simply to get his accessory for New Game Plus. Even though in that situation, I probably would have chosen Claire. Yeah, his, he's the one that gives you, like, the, the stupidly overpowered, like, really fast cast item that also stacks with all the other, like, casting, like, speed up casting quartz and stuff. So it got it to where, like, a, a character casting, like, a lower level tier spell could literally cast their low level, lower level tier spell, like, seven to eight times in a row before anybody else got to act. It was, it was stupid how good that thing was. You can get a similar version to it in this game, I believe. Uh, but it's not quite as good. I just remember putting that on like one of my casters and taking out entire teams of, of like enemies before anybody even got to attack. We don't always have the Prince Brave Order. You only have it when he's a guest character, unfortunately. Oh yeah, if I could have him in the part, him as a guest character at all times to use his Brave Order, I would, because his is seriously broken. Like, Muse's is bad enough, but Olivarts is like Muse's on crack. It, it's so good. Toa's is also very good. Toa's makes the game kind of a joke, so if you could have her the whole time, it would be stupid as well. Toa's is like, it's too, bra it's too brave, uh, too BP to use it, and for, I think it's like 10 or 12 turns, something stupid like that, you take 80% reduced to damage, and it heals you whenever you use it for 50% HP, so, uh, you basically can't die with that. In a game like this, where they've kind of, where they've kind of destroyed the uh, the tactic of breaking the enemy to get a lot of damage in, uh, um, brave orders like those are more powerful. Like in the last game, uh, brave orders that increased damage, or specifically that increased break damage, were what was where it was all at. Because you would just increase break damage, so you'd use like Yuna's um, sledgehammer break uh increase break damage break the boss and then keep him broken for like extended periods of time with like kurt's uh tachikaze no jin or by abusing muse's order in conjunction with uh chrono uh, burst or things like that but in this game you can't do that because 
if you get an enemy to 50% HP, or sometimes it's, it's a little bit higher, sometimes it's a little bit lower, they'll get like a little cutscene and then they'll do their little, you know, power up, whatever. But regardless of whether you let them power up or not, they'll, in the cut, if they see the cutscene, which is forced, so even if they're broken and you pass like pass 50 percent while they're broken, they'll still enter the cutscene and they'll get all of their brave uh, gauge back. So it's like they completely gutted that whole tactic. So orders from the last game, like uh, Yuna's and like Kurt's, are not nearly as good as they were in the third game. In fact, even Kurtz. Kurtz is actually kind of bad nowadays. Like, you have to really work to make Kurtz good again. His Brave Order. Yeah, the problem with normal mobs is they usually die before it's even even worthwhile. Unfortunately, the whole thing with Kurtz is it, it reduces the the time in between when, like when you attack, it reduces the time of when you're able to attack again. So what you would do is you would break the enemy. Like in the last game, you would break the boss, and then you would use either Yuna or something to like speed up everybody, so they all get their attacks first. Um using like the Kasoku ability, the speed, I don't know what they call it in English, but the speed up ability where you bring everyone to the front of the line, sorry, I bumped the mic. So what you do is you would use, you would break them, bring everybody to the front of the line, and then you would use Kurt's Brave Order, Tachikaze no Jin. And then what would happen is they would use, they would attack, but they would be, it's, it's called Accelerate in English. Okay, so you would use Accelerate, and then they would come up, they, their next action would be before the boss's action. So you just repeat the cycle. Right now, I'm not using uh, I'm not using Gungnir on everybody. Uh, my favorite Brave Order right now that I'm using um, is actually the defensive one because I'm not playing on any of the easier difficulties. I do like Ashes though. Yeah, I use Gimbu a lot. I've actually been I've actually found myself almost completely keeping my like, healing my own party with Gimbu. Like by the time I need to heal, I'm ready to use Gimbu again. So I use Gimbu again, heals me up and that I'm like finding that I'm actually not needing really a healer anymore. But yeah, I do agree with you that Ash's order actually does work really well because you know it increases the crit rate, so you get more brave order back. It's a very, it's, it definitely that I think that combined with Yuna would be a very good combination because then you could use Yuna to keep everybody um, using accelerate to keep everybody uh, going ahead of the enemy. Uh, it's crows starting. It increases crit damage. The, the, the base level one ability is it increases crit damage. It works really well with a, a counter, a, with a, a dodge counter, uh, character. So you give them the guaranteed crit on counter and then you make them 100% dodge unit and then the enemy attacks them and they, they counter crit for like absurd amounts of damage.
he basically deserved that. Almost at max. I gotta get him the max before we get to the intermission chapter. But a good use of, uh, of Gung Nidu is like this. So you give Gung Nidu to a character that has pretty decent dodge. Like, I currently don't have him set up as a main dodge character, uh, but you give him that. So you get the hundred right now at level nine. It's 140 percent uh, critical damage. And then you can give them uh, Sirius here, which increases counter damage by 375%. And then you give them this Quartz, which increases uh, critical, makes counter criticals 100%. So they 100% chance to crit on dodge, and they crit, they hit really hard. But then that crits for even more damage, and you start seeing pr some pretty absurd amounts of damage. I could do that for Fee, pretty easily. I kind of have it set up that way, but I am preferring to use Aegis on her simply because of the 90% chance to have her be the target. Okay, I think we're good to go. I have done all the other quests, right? Yeah. Turned all that in. Okay, let's make a save, and then we will proceed on. finally go to Crossbell, or do you have more stuff to say to me? <laughs> Finally! Ugh. Actually, can I not just go there? So I know I'm supposed to be able to explore the town. I guess I can't just go there, huh? All right. I'm guessing we're going to get there and then have to go back to Crossbell for some reason. Because there's a side quest to do in Crossbell that I got to make sure I get, and there's a bunch of stuff to buy, there's some cards to play. Also want to go to the Michelin if I can.
Am I gonna stream New Game Plus? Uh, most likely, yeah. I don't know if I'll be doing New Game Plus right after I finish this. Um, we'll have to see. Depends how long this takes and what's out at the time. I also have playthroughs of Cold Steel 1 Kai as well as well as uh, Trails of Zero that are currently on hold that I also need to finish as well. Yeah, Okay, so that's how we get into Crossbell. There was an earlier scene in the game where we actually got the fight with both him, it was like, it was him, um, Rin, and, uh, Yoshua, and who else was in, I forget who else was in the party, but it's pretty, pretty packed. Can I play anything special for my 100th day? No, not, not really. I hadn't really thought about it. Yeah, it was a good way to finish chapter two. I had a pro I had a, an issue with the like almost two hours of talking that happened before it though. Would have liked there to be other stuff to break that up.
Oh, so that's why we can't use Altina coming up. Okay. Or Altina and Elliot, I should say. Ark and seal is that what they call is that the in is that the English for the uh, theater I, I don't know what they call it in English I guess there I guess there is no official English is there huh that's fine it's in crossbill uh, but the little girl with the purple chair is from the theater She's from the uh, second Crossbell game, is where you first meet her, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure it's the second one. You might, I, maybe you meet her in the end of the, it's been a while. You might meet her at the end of the first game, but I'm pretty sure you meet her in Trails of Azure. I don't, the problem with this is like I have people come into the chat and they're like is this this is this that and I'm like uh, I don't know I've never I've never played it in English I've only ever played these games in Japanese so I don't know Hey, look, it's the dude who I'm going to play cards with pretty shortly here. Hey, look, it's the dude who I'm going to play cards with pretty shortly here. You know, I'm glad they got his voice levels correctly because in in uh the Vita versions, the evolution versions of Cold Steel or not Cold Steel of um 
uh, Zero no Kiseki and uh, and whatnot. He his voice levels are very low, and there's no way to separate voice levels and music levels in those games. Like the audio track is just one like level. So if you lower the audio track, to lower the music, it also lowers his voice. And his voice track is so low, it can be really hard to hear his voice actor. And yeah, it's this is Sal. そう<笑> そう言われるだろうと思いまして、手土産も持参させていただきました。Oh God, Macburn. あの装置の起動直前に弊社のスタッフが撮影したものです。Macburn is always like one of the hardest fights in these games. Like, every time, he's always difficult. The hardest time I've had with him was on was in Cold Steel 3 actually. It was the fight, it was against it was it was the fight where you fought Macburn and Campanella. I think on top of the uh the Tower of Stars, I don't know at like Hoshinoto. And you fought the two of them at the same time and that was one of the most difficult fights I've ever done in the series. Well, I should say, I should preface that by saying you didn't actually have to win the fight. Uh, but if you wanted to get plus three AP, you had to win the fight. Uh, if you lost, the story would still continue. Uh, but I want, obviously, I wanted to get the uh, the plus three AP, and that it, it was that was a nightmare of a battle.
I know we're gonna have to bring... Oh man, this is gonna suck. We may not be able to bring Yuna. Oh no, we'll see how many members it lets us bring later. Okay, um, I actually need to use the restroom real quick. I'll be back very shortly. Okay. Um, okay, so who do we get going into the next area? Okay, we know we need... We need Rauda, Kurt, and Machias. Kurt, Machias. So these three, or these four, I have to bring with me. And then from there, anyone other than Altina and Elliot can come. Three members other than them. So probably be Muse, Fee. Yeah, so unfortunately, I don't think Yuna's going to be coming with us. We'll probably go with something like this.
Uh, where we need to go? Some sort of event over here? Or is this just telling us that we can play casino games if we want? Oh no, we have... Hmm? Oh, is it downstairs? Oh, it's the... Okay, I get it. It's the quest. Right now we're just going through and getting everything that there is extra. That's a spoiler. I like how a present you can buy for a character right now at this point in the game is like a pretty it, I mean I guess it could be depends how you how you look at spoilers, but it could be a it's either a minor spoiler or a pretty big spoiler based on how you look at it. Can't go to mission home yet. Oh, that's unfortunate. Need to get there to buy an, 
Not really. I don't think it's an accessory. I need to buy something from there. That I can use to craft an accessory. I should be able to get the other piece I need here. Though I forget which store. Where do I buy that item? Are they both at Michelin? I don't think they are. Uh... Sorry, I'm just looking something up real quick. Um... There was something I wanted to get. A, a specific accessory I wanted to craft. Four items I needed to craft it. Sateto. Oh, no, I got that piece. Oh. The boots I needed? Okay, so the boots are a mission item. So it's the accessory that I'm looking for. Uh... Hmm. any of those. I don't think that's it either, but I mean, we'll just buy one just in case. Is there a place where I can do that here? You just go check.
Okay, I need the the rider goggles. That's what it was I was looking for. Where do I buy those? Okay, at the Orpal store. 